Hi, I'm Mark from Blue Water Photo, and I'd like to talk with you today about some basic choices for underwater cameras. There are so many cameras out there today that it's understandably a bit daunting for someone, especially just getting into it, as to what sort of camera might be best. So uh, I find it's best to break it down into three main categories of cameras, or three flavors, if you will, uh, that are well suited for underwater use. And just like flavors of food, there is no one best choice. It actually depends very much on the individual. It's a matter of personal taste and experience uh, and uh, priorities, which one works best for you. So I want to just talk for a couple minutes about each of the main categories, starting out with compact cameras. And this is a type of camera not only for underwater use, but uh, for topside use as well, that will be familiar to many of you. Obviously, as the name implies, it's very small, lightweight, easy to use, and has some great advantages for underwater work as well. And this is a corresponding waterproof housing, typical for the compact cameras. On the other end of the scale, we have the single lens reflex, or DSLR cameras. Unlike the compacts that have a built-in lens, the DSLRs use interchangeable lenses. You have a wide variety of different types of lenses. This is just one example uh, that can be added and removed from the camera body so you can change lenses quite readily. It does give you a wider choice of lenses, but it's also clearly larger, uh, more sophisticated, which can be a pro or a con, uh, but it is capable of very, very high quality images. In fact, the DSLRs give you the highest resolution and best quality of any of the three categories of cameras. But again, not only is the camera and lens combination itself larger, but as you can see here, obviously the waterproof housings for DSLRs are much larger as well. Uh, more weight to travel with, more size and bulk to swim around with underwater, and significantly more expensive as well. So those are kind of the two extremes. There is, in relatively recent years, also a third sort of middle category known as the mirrorless camera. And this shares some of the characteristics of each system. Uh, it is much smaller than the DSLR, similar in size to many of the compact cameras, and yet, like the SLR, it also offers interchangeable lenses, allowing the user to choose from a wider variety of different lenses than the one standard lens that comes with the compact. A relatively small and lightweight, but uh, it is more sophisticated than many of the compacts, also capable of higher quality than the compacts, uh, in many cases uh, approaching or even equaling SLR quality and a much smaller package. Likewise, the housings for the mirrorless are again sort of in the middle between the two extremes, um, not as big as the SLR housings, but significantly larger than the compacts. In many ways, it is sort of the happy medium between the two categories. So again, there is no one best choice for everyone. It's largely a matter of individual preference, but uh, each of these systems has its pros and cons. We'll be very happy to discuss those with you or answer any questions that you may have. Feel free to give us a call or email at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com, and please do visit our website. We're here to help. Thanks.